Corners off of turn four, the green is on. We got a green and go this time around. Mike Pond, Russ Brown, Dave Cliff lead them going down into turn number one. Looking down onto the inside, Dave Cliff, car number 50. He tries to scramble right up there to the number two spot. They race going down into turn number three. Pond and Lick out, we got troubles. We got troubles, we got yellow, and no laps have been completed. Well, I'll tell you, Joe, for the most part, everybody got through pretty clean. Here's another shot of it. Yeah, I might don't know. Have I'm going to let the judges make a call yeah. on that one. You can see it up there on the screen. If it, if it was, it was just a very, very slight contact. All Chevrolets, one Mopar coming down out of turn number four. The green is out. They touch tires coming down out of turn number four. Dave Cliff on the outside. Mike Bond on the inside. Bondy gets the whole shot, coming off the corner, moving down the back straightaway. Dalton Doyle right there in the number three spot. Anthony Lasorto, car number one, back in the number four spot. Jack Patrick, carnival line, runs in position number five. And dropping down Anthony Lasorto all the way to seventh. Cameron Rowe also dropping down to the number eight spot. Top dogs all down together, down to between turns number three and four. Here's Dave Cliff again. Dave Town there looking on the inside, and we got a car sideways. I believe it's the double deuce, car number 22 of Mike Bruce. They truly be able to do it. He's going to give it their college drive. They move right down to between turns number one and two. A half a lap to go. Score standby. This one is going to be close as they race down to between turns number three and four. The checkered flag is in the air. Mike Bond, his 300th career start, wins it. Ladies and gentlemen, the winning a small block driver at Oswego Speedway, Mike Bond gets the win in the first twin 20. Yeah, you know, when you got those best guys behind you, you got to be on your game plan and hit every mark every time, and luckily we made it. Winning never gets old, does it? No, no, working on it does, but the winning part don't. Yeah, that was a fun race. Uh, Mike and I were really evenly matched. I couldn't tell if Dalton was right there or not, but um, it, my car was just a little too snug right in the center to really keep up with him. I get in and uh, get off the corner a little bit better than Mike, but he, was, uh, he ran the line he had to. I don't know if you heard me back there at all, but there was a few laps I was right there and thought about making a dive bomb, but you know it definitely wasn't worth it. So I just got to thank my crew, uh, even Lacerdo's crew, Cameron Rowe, a few guys. We've been struggling the last few weeks, and it feels good to get our car straightened back around and run up front. You know, it was a pretty stacked front row and uh, second row and third row. A lot of good cars starting up front tonight, the way they did the handicapping. So, you know, the cream was already to the top. I figured it was going to be a fast-paced race, and uh, it was. The guys uh, ran good. My car started to get a little snug as the race went on. You know, I thought I was at least as fast as them at the beginning of the race, but then I kind of faded throughout the race. So third place, uh, cars one piece. I'm ecstatic. Uh, we'll be back for the second feature, and I'll see what happens. between three and four. Danzer getting a big jump off the corner. Green flag is out. Here comes Ioso on the outside. And they're going to into turn number one. Look at Champagne down to the inside. Down the back straight they go with the race leader in the 52 of Dave Danzer as he got a good jump on the 11 of Eric Iosu at the start. Back in the field. Man, here comes Otto Sinderley. Otto looking on the outside in that number seven. Cuts off the 55 of Champagne. He's got Michael Barnes right behind him. You got Bellinger, Sinderley, Champagne, Barnes all right together behind the 05 of Abel. Bellinger a little bit outside. Here comes Sinderley down to the inside. The 52, Dave Danzer out in front. Sinderley running hard inside. Bellinger behind Abel. He gets past the 02 of Bellinger. The 0 of Snyder spins down here. Another car spins with him. The uh, three cars involved. I think the 01 of uh, Danny Connors that started with Snyder. There was a little bump going on here in the corner down here in turn number one. Out of the inside, and nothing worked. Meanwhile, Dydero on the inside, making his favorite move down to the inside of the track. He is underneath Tyler Thompson off the corner, down the front straight. Dancer, Iosu, Gruel, Dydero, and Thompson, the front five, Sitterly running right there in sixth. Then you've got Abel Barnes and Bellinger. Here's Barnes on the outside. The Hostler working on the 05 of Jeff Abel, and he's trying to make it happen down here in the front straight. 
Sinderley now has moved up into the number six spot, goes to the inside of Tyler Thompson. Sinderley takes over a top five position. In seventh, Abold is eighth. Champagne and Champagne spins. So does Abold, they both spin. Champagne and Abold both spin over there. Meanwhile, your race leaders up into the slower traffic, pulling to the outside, putting a lap on the 56 of Hal and Tulip. It's Dan's around in front. Here's Cruel going to the outside. Sinderley coming up now. Didero tries to get underneath. Cruel can't do it. Didero now working down to the inside of Dave Cruel. Got a wheel underneath Didero. Up into the number two spot as he comes underneath the 50 of Dave Cruel. Down the front chute. Dan's around in front. Drew Cruel running on the outside, but he is sliding out there. Here comes Sinderley. Watch out for Didero. He's got a wheel to the inside of the 52 of Dave Danzer. Trying to pick up the lead. Here's Gruel back to the outside. Sinderley now coming down to the inside. Four laps remaining. Four to go. Danzer the leader. Didero running second. Sinderley now up to a podium finish. Sinderley takes over third. Didero luck to go to the inside of Danzer. Here's Sinderley to the outside. Sinderley on the outside. Coming around Didero. Didero looking down to the inside of Dancer. Didero to the inside of Dancer. Didero takes the lead. Here's Sinderley now down to the inside. White flag is out. Snyder just ahead of the race leader. Dancer now. Here comes Dancer and Gruel now. Here comes Sinderley as Didero can't get to the inside of the zero. Coming around this time, checkered flag will be coming out. Didero looking for the win in the number three. Doug Didero loses. Snyder gets it. Snyder got the win. The seven, rather, the seven of Sinderley got the win as Didero loses it at the wire. Sinderley got a run to the inside and just barely picked up the win at the wire here, just about all but solidifying his track championship tonight here at the Oswego Speedway. And ladies and gentlemen, here Bob he comes. Bob is down there. Otto the, Siddeley. Uh, Otto Siddeley, Otto out of the car. There is utter jubilation down here and it's well deserved. Otto Siddeley with a last lap pass to win the feature and he is deservedly getting a lot of hugs from his crew. It was a long time since Otto has won a feature. It was a two year drought and he finally broke the seal again this year. Well, I mean, uh, Doug's, <laughs> do I have to say anything about Doug Didero? Awesome driver. Obviously they've only had it here a couple of times and they got that thing going good, but just, you know, anytime ever behind that guy, uh, he wheels the shit out of a race car and um, so, you know, a heck of a, Heck of a deal. If without the traffic, I wouldn't have had a shot at him. But uh, I got to thank all my crew. Last night, last night we went to uh, we went to Lee, New Hampshire. I called up Johnny and I said, "Hey, let's go put the wing on. It's something different to do." And uh, you know, we knew we were going to get our butts handed to us, but we just went. We wanted to race and go have fun. And we got back four uh, four o'clock this morning and loaded everything up to come here. And uh, these guys, I can't even say enough. Uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable, uh, uh, you know, amount of uh, amount of support and stuff. And of course, like Johnny just said, thinking of John and Joan Nicotra, you know, Johnny had a stroke, the dad, and uh, I know they're probably watching. So, uh, you know, this one's for those guys. Always thinking of them. I didn't know they didn't use the passing flag no more. I had no idea, and I couldn't figure out why they weren't throwing it, you know. And uh, but yeah, I think it was a sixth or seventh lap. Uh, coming out of two there, the car went sideways on me and I thought, oh boy, we're done now, we might as well park it, we're going to get so loose. And just kept with it and just had to pick up the timing exactly right on the exit and the, and the car was really good and, uh, you know, the guys ahead of me I could see, you know, learn what they, I've never ran with them before and learn how they drive and what they do and, you know, and just have patience and just pick them off one by one and we were fortunate the car, the car stayed with us all night that, you know, we could we could maneuver with the car and and make passes with it, you know. But uh, man, I wanted that win. Damn, you know, it must have been two inches. But congratulations to Otto. You know, he must have drove one hell of a race, also. So uh, you know, it was good racing tonight. I, I really enjoyed it. Just lost tires. I mean, those cautions beginning really hurt us. I mean, those tires. I mean, with straight axle car, you really need it to go green and keep the heat cycles off of it. So I knew they were coming. I just tried to pitch it down a little bit. Try to give. 
have them drive around me, and, and they did. And but I like to thank all my guys, and uh, they were tired. Uh, Dick Myers from uh, Oh Michigan Desert Shocks. He he set this thing up for us this week, and I think we're finally making some headway with it. So. And a great picture of the top three. Bottom part of the speedway, Barry Kingsley brings him out at turn number four. Kingsley on the inside, but Camden Rowe on the outside. Camden going down into turn number one, and boy, he got a good jump. Dave Cliff right there at a number three spot. Cliff now jockeying around. Look at Jack Patrick. Patrick is back on the number six spot. Now looking for the number five position. Russ Brown looking up onto the outside. He is hungry. Russ Brown going up onto the outside, coming off the corner. They bring it down. Dave Cliff up to second, the quick car. Kingsley back to third, Patrick Ford. Haynes running back there to the number five spot. He is back on the hammer, going down the back straightaway. On the inside, Dave Cliff puts the hammer down and he picks the lead up. Down in between turns number three and four. A race going off at turn number two. Patrick's got a long way to go. Roll back there third. Haynes is running fourth. Russ Brown fifth. Dalton Doyle sixth. Mike Bond is now moved up to seventh. He could be a factor here. He works down the three-quarter point of the back straightaway. Down in between turns number three and four. Ready to bring it down out of turn four. Checkered flag is in the air. Green to checkered. Dave Cliff takes the win. Jack Patrick. A solid second place finish for Patrick. We've got another win by the defending track champion, Dave Cliff. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, spanking the field in the second twin 20 for the Pathfinder Bank small block supers. We made a couple adjustments after uh, that first one, and the uh, car was a lot better right through the center where Mike was beating me in the first one. so. I thought if I could get out front and you know the, fact the guys have been winning all year, we're far enough back that I could uh, sort of set it on cruise control. So thankfully it went well for us, caution free. Um, I'd like to dedicate this to my uncle. He was our tire man for a long time and we lost him a few weeks ago. So this feels really good. Yeah, we kind of ran out of time there. Uh, car was good tonight, car was real fast. And uh, yeah, I drove a little bit aggressive tonight. You know, and uh, made some moves that I had to make to get up there, and I had to stay with Dave, but it was a good run for us. I uh, want to thank my sponsors, Longley Dodge, Cool Kitty Toys, Red Baron Pizza, Big Kahuna Party Rentals, my crew for being here tonight. It's nice to finally get a podium. It only took me all year, so. Uh, not bad for the first time back this year. Uh, car's working pretty good. Yeah, I thank everybody that uh, sticks with me and keeps us going, and all my sponsors, my mom and dad, my wife and my kids. They mean a lot to me. Third place for Brad Haynes.